there's still this lingering reference to malt store if I try to do something like GCC malt store dot o and say generate the m program for me uh, it's going to complain because it's it says I can't find main and also I can't find malt too which you declared would exist and, and don't, doesn't exist right now so to get that part we have a separate program separate c file main.c so main.c um, calls malt store. Malt store is going to be in the other file, so we have at the top this declaration of the malt store function. Takes two longs and a pointer. Doesn't return anything. And here's malt2. This matches what we had for malt store before. right? So this declaration of malt2 matches this declaration and so on. The C compiler does not check this for us. Um, it doesn't try to make sure that this declaration matches the other function and so on. That's why we normally put them in a hash include um, so normally what we would do is take this and pull it in malt.h and also in malt store take malt.2 and put it in malt.h and then we include malt.h in both of these places and now the when it's compiling this program, the C compiler will check whether the malt2 declaration in there is consistent with this one. And when it's compiling malt over malt store over here, it'll check that the malt to store declaration is consistent with this one. And so if we follow this discipline, then normally we get some checking that things are happening. So again, if I try to say GCC make M using malt store dot C, it's the same sort of complaining. That's because it changes the C to S to O, and it's missing stuff. If I provide malt store and main, it's happy. I can also go the route of, say, don't generate uh, m. Let's just go as far as an object file for malt store. Let's go as far as an object file for main. Right? So you see we have main.o, we have malt store.o, malt store.s is left over, main.s is not written. It was generated as an intermediate thing, but not written down. But now I can link main.o and malt store .o. And then I can run the program m. So, and it prints 6 because 6 is uh, what 2 times 3 is. Okay. As one last step, I can use objdump-d on uh, malt store .o or main.o, but I can also use it on m because an executable is very much like an object file. Just with metadata that says I can run there's um, a lot of extra functions. There's main. There's malt store. Malt store is too complicated. What happened here? Ah, okay. When I ran GCC this time, I forgot to say dash m. We we're actually looking at the version I compiled this way, where I didn't provide any optimization flags. So let's try this again. Let's try GCC. Write it to the file m. Dump that again. This time when we look at malt store, we see the, the set of instructions we expected to see. Meanwhile, for, say, malt2, we should be able to find that. Uh, malt2, it's just essentially a multiplication instruction. Um, and main right there is calling malt store and then printf. So that's the, the basics of how C programs are compiled and linked. Uh, we looked at this part here. That was the compiling main, linking them together using objump on M.